Hello Mr. Takahashi. Thank you for making time for this interview as a survivor in the Japan earthquake and tsunami. I'd like to ask you a few questions. It's a pleasure meeting you Miss Knight. I hope your flight here was safe. Oh yes, it was decent, thank you. So first I'd like to just get the general idea of this incident so I will ask you the basic questions first. How does it feel to be part of such an atrocious event? It's unthinkable to experience this outrageous catastrophe. Yes it's quite hard to get over the things I saw during and after the event. Several Japanese people were absolutely devastated seeing their country be destroyed. I see. Exactly what was the magnitude of the earthquake? It was 9.0 that lasted between 3 to 5 minutes, one of the biggest in history. And there have been over 10,000 aftershocks with a magnitude between 6.0 to 7.2. Today, Yamagata, Fukushima, Tokyo, basically around the north coast of Honshu Pacific Ocean are affected the most. I heard that tsunami was generated by the earthquake. How big was it? It was recorded in seven prefectures. In Hokkaido, Amari, Iwate, Fukushima, Ibaraji and Chiba. The highest was 21.1 .1 meters in Fukushima. And not only has the earthquake and tsunami caused problems but there's a big issue about the nuclear power plants are here. Could you explain what's been going on? Well due to the electricity being washed out and cut off by the earthquake and tsunami, there was no electricity. The nuclear power plant's cooling system failed due to the lack of electricity. As a result the reactor core melted, causing it to leak radiation and contaminating nearby areas. Thousands of people were ordered to evacuate. Thoughts terrible. What was the general number of deaths and missing people? About 15,854 people died and 3,155 are missing. And to be sure, this happened on Friday, March 11, 2011 at 5.46 a.m. Universal Time Coordinated, and 2.46 p.m. Japan Time. Correct. So now, let's get into the specifics. Why is it that this disaster has become so huge? Well like I said before, the enormous 9.0 earthquake caused the tsunami which was deathly. The earthquake resulted in massive fires to break out as well because it ruptured gas pipes. Thus the tsunami was the main cause. Indeed. It's the main cause as to why so many people were killed. They drowned, not killed from the earthquake. Wow, may you expand on that? Well the tsunami carried homes, cars, boats and people. It cleared away everything that was in its course. Shattering power lines, so no electricity and airports had to shut down because the airplanes and other transportation were washed away. Thoughts horrifying. I can assure you it was. Also millions of buildings in Tokyo went without power. The transportation in Tokyo stopped so people couldn't go home, desperately trying to find a place to stay overnight. And then? The roads were just beyond damaged. Not only did the tsunami wash away boats but ships, so fishermen lost all their equipment to work. Does that mean big companies were affected too? Certainly. Car companies that produce parts lost their parts, unable to complete their work. Like Toyota and Honda. Thoughts unfortunate. Could you describe the disaster with the nuclear power plants? When the Fukushima nuclear power plant was down it couldn't generate power so there was a lack of electricity with lights and air conditioning around those areas. Therefore companies couldn't manufacture any products whatsoever. They were in a dead end with a shortage of parts and power. What about the radiation? Is that a concern? Definitely. It contaminated large areas in the air and food like fish and vegetables. Fukushima is the most contaminated. Also the ocean, so fishermen could no longer fish around that area. And farmers can't grow and ship their crops from soil contamination. As well as meat because cows, chickens and pigs could no longer be sold they were eating the infected crops. This resulted in farmers near the power plants to evacuate to shelters, so they had to abandon their farm animals. I assume the lives of the Japanese people have been detrimental. Of course. Elderly people have been harmed the most. Those who lived in shelters died due to the coldness, stress and lack of medication. About 1,407 people died by not getting the proper medication. The death rates are increasing. 
How is the environment in the shelters? The washrooms are unsanitary, so it's hard for people to wash themselves, also increasing their stress level. And depending on the shelters food was irrelevant as volunteers didn't know the number of people in the shelters. Food was scarce. Did the volunteers have an easy time during this whole thing? Oh no they didn't have enough information to locate the shelter. They weren't informed which shelters needed more food than other shelters. Were there any other helpers involved? Certainly. However there weren't enough doctors to aid people. Since Fukushima was the area most contaminated, volunteers had to avoid passing through there, so instead they had to take the much northern side of the country which was a much longer path. What were some of the responses from the people about this misfortune? Numerous amount of people lost their businesses, homes, friends and families as they were washed away from the tsunami. Additionally they lost their jobs. Many are currently suffering from depression. Unfortunately some people have no hope with the situation and are committing suicide. Do you know how the earthquake and tsunami was generated? Considerably, the tsunami was stimulated by the Pacific tectonic place that's located beneath Japan, building the seabed and ocean water to ascend. Japan is in the area where four tectonic plates are involved. The Pacific, North American, Eurasian and Filipino plates. Exactly, seeing that, when the plates are in motion and collides with each other, the pressure is enhanced. Then suddenly the pressure is released resulting in earthquakes, and generating a tsunami due to the abrupt lifting of the seabed. The rising and plunging of the sea of flour encloses energy to relocate gigantic amount of water to brush across strips of Japan's coast that had the swiftness of a jet plane with its vast waves. In conclusion, the Pacific Plate plunges underneath the North American Plate, caused everything. That's right. So are there any outside help with this situation? Yes. Canada donated 25,000 blankets. The American Army sent approximately 13,000 people to distribute 150 tons of food and supplies. And the biggest donating country is Taiwan as they donated over 1 billion Canadian dollars. Do you think this whole thing will gradually get better? Well we do plan to fix the damages. But it is said that it would take 20 years to clear the radiation, however recently it was discovered it would actually take 40 years. By this earthquake, Japan is now in the active era of the earthquake. In Tokyo, an earthquake with a magnitude of 6.2 to 7.2 is predicted in 10 years with a 30% chance. And possibly a 70% chance in 30 years. What are the measurements for the fault zone? The Japanese Meteorological Agency said the earthquake may have ruptured the fault zone from Iwate to Ibaraki from a length of 500 kilometers and a width of 200 kilometers. As well, it was announced that the location of Japan has moved by 2.4 meters because of this earthquake. Wow, thank you so much Mr. Takahashi. I think I have all the information I need. Once again, thank you for making time for this interview in your busy schedule. Oh no. The pleasure is all mine. Good luck in your article. And thank you for taking the time to watching this video. You can check out our website, our Facebook page, and feel free to like or comment on our YouTube video.